The next challenge is Can You See? So this is the Can You See challenge. It's part of the forensics category over here. And I will provide the link for everybody. All right, so Can You See? The description says, how about some hide and seek? Download this file here. All right, so I will copy the link and give it to everybody in chat if you need it. And then we will move on over to our Can You See directory. Oops. Okay, so. This was, uh, what this is a zip file. Okay, so I'm going to move into a temporary directory. And I'm going to download the file. And then I'm going to unzip the file. Okay, so here we have the UK, I guess, unknown reality uh, JPEG over here. This is, um, this is a basic forensics a basic image forensics challenge, which means that uh, we can use we can use tools such as strings. So usually, I like to run strings with the UKN with the uh, with the with the dash ten command, where where we can only return text strings that are that are 10, 10 characters in length or more. Oh, it should be strings with an S. Okay. So we might be we might look into here to look for an answer. Um, it doesn't look like there's any answer over here. The other tool that we often use inside of beginners picture forensics challenges is the exif tool command. So exif tool is going to show us a lot of metadata about our particular image file. So that what was the name of that file again? Let me let me take a look. So it was called UKN Reality, right? Okay. So except tool and then UKN reality.jpg. And what this tool does is it shows us a lot of metadata about this image file. Uh, GX, yes, let's use tab autocomplete. Uh, so tab, tab autocomplete lets you uh, autocomplete file names uh, if there are not so many, not so many um, choices with the same spelling inside of uh, inside of the directory. So we see here there's a lot of different information, uh, metadata information about this file, uh, stuff like file size and uh, access modification time, file permissions, uh, file type. But uh, interestingly, here there's this particular string inside of the attribution URL, and I'm sure somebody in chat can tell us. What kind of what kind of uh, encoding this could could potentially be? But if you don't know, you could go to ChatGPT and you could ask, "What kind of encoding or encryption is this?" And then paste in the string. And ChatGPT says the string appears to be Base64 encoded over here. And, uh, and Base64 is an encoding scheme which is used to transform uh, data into alphanumeric strings. And it's very good for transferring, transferring binary files or image files across data networks. Sorry, I mean uh, computer networks. Because sometimes you have to prepackage something before you move it somewhere else. So what we can do if we know that this is a base64 string is that we can copy it and then we can use the echo command so i like to do echo dash n to make sure that there's no new line character uh, included in this output and then paste in the string and then we're going to pipe it by using the pipe character over here into base64 dash d which does the decode operation okay and so after we do that 
this string is decoded using the base64 codec and it returns the flag right here. So we can copy this and we can use this as the um, as the answer for for the challenge over here. Paste in the flag and click on submit and then it says that uh, you solved the, you solved the challenge correctly. Okay, if you have not already done so, please click on the thumbs up button on the challenge. Hey there, hacker frogs. Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel and it's totally free. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening. And now, back to our scheduled programming.